If you had to put your performance on a one to 10, where would you place it? Off the charts, 20, 30, who knows? <laughs> That's what we like to hear here at Two Blind Brothers. Dawn to dusk at this table. <sighs> Brothers. Welcome to the One Minute Show. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. We are going to be talking with Miss the one and only Court Jenner. Court, how are we? Fantastic. Thanks for having me. What are you doing and responsible for at Two Blind Brothers? I am in charge of production. I kind of oversee that a little bit and then I do some strategic planning. So new products and figuring out you know, sort of a roadmap as to where we want to take this thing. Court, if you wouldn't mind giving a touch of background so people understand that you are an expert at what you do. I was the buyer for Montclair um, for North America. Fancy jackets, if you don't know. Opened their first store in South America, and I moved down there and did some consulting for other luxury retailers. And I worked um, on the marketing side at Simon Property Group. How does a brand, when they're thinking about diversifying their product base, what are some of the first things that they look at? An initial thing is always customer feedback. Um, you really have to listen to the people who currently shop with you. And then you're also thinking about your target customers. So people that you would like to shop with you who aren't yet doing so. How do you uh, kind of come to the decision on what is inside your brand wheelhouse versus what is a little outside or what is the right kind of outside? A lot of these brands that have been around for decades and decades, they're going back to their DNA. They're going back to, you know, when we started, what? how did we become successful? With us, obviously it's like, the t-shirt, but why Why the t-shirt? And we know the backstory is with you guys being visually impaired, you have this enhanced sense of touch. In this case, that's an important part of our DNA. What is your one best piece of advice for product development? Don't rush into anything. I feel like sometimes somebody has a truly great idea and we all get super excited and want it you know, to be available for everyone to buy tomorrow. But I think it's taking it slow weighing out the reality of what it looks like. Again, it doesn't make sense with sort of the, the road we're trying to take. Well, everyone, this has been Court Jenner. Thanks, uh, give her a comment if you have any extra questions and uh, she's more than happy to answer them. Gold star today, Court. Thanks, B.